and there is an, uh, another uh, interesting thing about these springs uh, because uh, in uh, these springs you can find uh, endemic species, species. This is about biology, it's not geology anymore. <laughs> so someone else will tell you maybe some, something more. But in these springs uh, uh, near the, below the Mirna Gora, in this area you can find this uh, uh, species, it's called Proteus. It's very endemic for Slovenia or for the Karstic uh, area and uh, Dinaritz. Uh, what is uh, special uh, is that usually this Proteus, uh, this species is, uh, has a, a color of the human skin. So in Slovenia uh, they call it also the human fish. Because it looks a little bit like fish, it's not really fish, it's more like uh, a frog. It's proteus, it's this kind of animal, uh, but uh, we call it human fish in Slovenia, directly, in direct translation. Uh, but in this area, in Vela Krajina, uh, they found uh, for the first time the black version of the proteus. So in, in 80s, uh, when they were making some uh, exploration for the water, uh, they, they were going also uh, scuba diving beside of, of some, uh, some springs and they found this black proteus uh, in the village where actually I come from, in the beach. Uh, and I was kid like this and I still remember this because it was uh, really a, a discovery. We found uh, like a black human fish uh, for the first time uh, in the history. And in these springs sometimes when the waters are really, because these human fishes Proteus, they live inside of the case, but then when the waters are really high, uh, they can uh, drag them outside of the case and uh, around here you can uh, sometimes find them like crawling around and they go back inside to the, to the casting world, to the world they, they belong to. I think that's about this point. Oh, okay. uh, about cast, we could talk really a lot. We have a lot of different uh, geolo geological, geomorphological features in the cast area, but most characteristics, uh, came, more char characteristic feature uh, for sure are caves. And here we see the example of the Arctic cave. Uh, but as I told you before, when they uh, go, if the area is uplifted more, then they become dry. There is no water inside and you can go inside of some caves. In Slovenia there are some splendid caves you can, you can visit. Not in Vela Krajina, they are not touristic. There are some very nice ones, but they are not so touristic because sometimes you have to crawl in the mud and stuff like that. But in other parts like Pastojna Cave or Škocen Cave, they are really, really splendid uh, things to see one in a lifetime.